How's it going guys? MCF Got Milk and welcome back to another auto video. In this video I'll be showing you how to appropriately stop your car from accelerating going down a hill. But before we get into the video, I'll make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe to this video for more. But as always, let's get back to the video. So you might be saying, why would I need to watch this video? I can easily just freaking push the brake when I'm going down a hill. You can, but you can easily wear out your brakes and you can damage them pretty badly doing that. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you what engine braking kind of is and how to implement it during this thing. Let's say you're going down super hilly terrain. You're going up, you're all gas going up, then if you have to go down, you're braking. Imagine that. You're just, the car is like three tons and three tons is going down the hill. And if you're holding the brake down, it's so much wear and tear on the brakes as well, already heated up. It may be again like 90 degrees outside like it is today. That again also adds to the heat. So you kind of want to be careful what you're going to do there. So what I'm going to be teaching you is how to implement, like I just said, engine braking. So engine braking, what it is, is for gasoline. Let's say that it's when you let go of the accelerator and you leave it in gear, which you just leave in whatever gear it's in and you just let the car coast. So the throttle body in the engine is going to close and that piston is going to go down. It's going to try to suck air out, which it's not going to be able to since the throttle body is closed. So it's going to create a vacuum. That vacuum is going to break the car, as I'm going to demonstrate in a little bit. But as your engine is braking the car, you're not using it on your brakes. So it's much an easier and safer way to stop your car going down hills instead of heating up your brakes to where you don't have any brakes anymore. I'm going to show you now what I mean. We're going to put it in drive. So it's in drive. And since it's an automatic, it's going to shift no matter what. Even if you decelerate, it's going to shift down. So what you're going to want to do is, for me, use the one, two, and three. For example, I'll put it in first gear and we'll drive. Listen to the engine difference. You can see that it's not shifting. And see how I'm, I'm not braking. It's braking on its own. See, now I just applied to the brakes. So as an example, we're going to put it back in drive. Now watch, still in drive, we're going to drive, now ready's going to shift. There, it shifted there, and we're going. But again, if I was to, for example, stop, stop the car, put it into first. All right, it's in first, as you can see. Now we're just going to drive. You can see that it's not shifting at all. Now if I let go, See how it's slowing the car down? No foots on the brake. It's right here. The car came to pretty much a stop with just the engine. Now, but if I was to do that in, let's say, drive. Now watch. Let go. We're just going to coast. We're just going to coast and coast and coast and coast and let gravity take place so I have to hold the brake at the stop sign. Okay, so done first. Let's say we're, right, let's speed up a little bit. Right, let's say we're going down a hill. Watch. I'm not braking, the engine's braking on its own. See how it's doing that? That's what you wanna do. You wanna make sure that the engine actually brakes. I'm flooring it a little bit. Now, pick up some speed and let go again. It's all engine work that's doing this. It's not me pushing the brake at all. So that is what engine braking is. That is how you can save wear and tear on your brakes over time. And since I have an automatic, I have to use the one, two, and three. You can also, for most cars, like my girlfriend's Fiesta, the gear shift, there's a plus and minus button that you can put in the ma uh, manual mode as well, and you can just use that. But again, it's probably easier if you have a manual to do this, because again, you have first gear, second gear, third, fourth, fifth, and you can just do it based off of that. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is just an easy way on how to save your brakes from just if you don't want to brake going out of stop sign or stoplight or again especially if you're going up and down terrain so hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more and i'll see you in the next one take care